powerful actor. Talk to us about the power that you add to Papa. I think that um, to enjoy my job, I need to understand my job. Uh, and my job is nothing to do with celebrity and everything to do with storytelling. So that I must bring all my focus and my power and my energy, my intuition, my imagination, into presenting a portrait to the audience that they will appreciate, maybe connect with, and, and, and have their lives a little bit enhanced by. So that um, when I'm reading scripts, of course, the first thing that happens is that there's a process of selection. I don't do certain films. So that once I accept a film, I'm absolutely committed to giving it all my energies. Now, Papa Rudy is um, a beautiful character in our film because he focuses enhances, sharpens Philippe's journey. In other words, uh, I explain to Philippe and at the same time to the audience just how hard he has to practice, just how hard he has to, how seriously he has to take his task, how he has to be technically and, and, and uh, mentally prepared for the task, how his relationship to the audience must be very special, almost sacred, and how he must never allow his arrogance or his ego to interfere with the task in hand. These are life lessons, um, but in the script it's wonderful for me, for my character to be able to say them to Philippe because it makes Philippe's task look much harder and therefore makes him appear more heroic. In other words, the more, the more pressures that are placed on, on, on Joseph, on Philippe, the more beautiful is the journey and the more triumphant is the journey. So I bring a kind of pressure to the film as Papa Rudy. And you accepted to be directed uh, by Robert Zemeckis, that is a visionary. What do you discover about his vision now? Well, that is a very good question. I think that a word that I would use in part to describe Robert is a word that you wouldn't immediately think of, restraint. He actually uses his visual effects very carefully. He doesn't throw them at the screen. He uses them exactly at the right moment and, and a wave of, of excitement and, and sometimes even fear or delight goes through the audience because he chooses very discreetly and he's quite restrained and he's a very accurate, very intelligent storyteller. I feel blessed for this interview. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much, Victor. Thank Have you. a great day.